Um, this is like the rematch that they had at, um, when was the last time they played? It was, uh, I believe it was, when was the last time they played? Uh, Prime Saga, yeah. I played him twice, he played him twice. Uh, he actually played me first, Nairo played me first. I played him at Collision 2019, lost to him 3-0, then he beat T3-0. Uh, let me go back for the very beginning. Um, T played him at Prime Saga, lost 3-0. Then I played Nairo again at Glitch 7 and lost 2-0 and then he played, yeah, he just played T now at Summit. So we both played Nairo twice. Now, right from the jump, I don't think he should have played Nairo on Stadium. I think this is by far her best stage in the matchup. I would never play this stage versus Palutena. Let's see how this goes though. Uh, now the first mistake he did was uh, put a hydrant down immediately. Like Nairo knows that's gonna be what most Pac-Mans are gonna be doing. Now Nairo comes in right here, he shields, knowing that if T comes down with an attack, he has access to Nair out of shield, and if he doesn't do uh, an attack, he can just try to rush him down with his own Nair. So I would say, like, right here, he used his double jump right here, which was bad. The up air was fine, but he shouldn't have double jumped with it. Jumped on top of the hydrant, then jumped from the hydrant to intercept him with the Nair. And now he's in his face. Yeah, all this is a true combo. Um, got him in a corner again. He's drifting in a lot versus Nairo where he should be drifting away. He could have got a better punish here. He could have got up throw up air into like up tilt. Especially when they're under the platform right here. That's a bad mistake. Use this double jump to go for a fair. Um, I feel like when you're on the ledge versus versus uh, Palutena, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you should wait it out and see what they like to go for just to get data um, based on what they like to do for a ledge trap. There are times when they can fake it out and then lead you astray and then punish you afterwards, but um, waiting is probably the safest option because you don't want to throw out anything too unsafe and then get punished for it. Yeah, he got nared. Now he doesn't have a jump and then he just dies because he dies to explosive flame. Nairo doing a Nairo doing a cross up near, which is very safe. Uh, in this situation, if you notice that they're gonna do this, I would suggest dashing away and then putting a hydrant right here to reclaim stage control. Now he's trapped, and then he has to deal with the hydrant. But he tried to attack him and then got up tilted for it.
How's it going, Yazagi? Caught him charging. Sometimes you should, like, stop charging after a while. And just, uh, chill back and see what she's gonna do. Oh, he makes it back. Wow, that's crazy. No, that was a bad option. That fair is like minus three or something. You should never do up smash out of shield. Alright, back throw. That was a good idea. I feel like let's uh, go in for Nair instead to cover the reappearance of the teleport is ideal. You don't want to go for hard reads. Oh, I would have up tilted him again. Waited on the water so he can armor through it. He waited, yeah. He probably thought he was gonna jump again, but he didn't jump. Back though. This dash attack, yeah. Yeah, I don't think he shouldn't have played on stadium and then he made a few bad calls with unsafe aerials and he tried to punish things that aren't normally punishable. But yeah, he switches to Roy, so I'm probably not going to analyze this. Probably just going to skip it. But I, I would say in the future uh, versus Palutena, he should, like, first off, don't play on Steam. And then the second thing, um, try to trap her in the corner.